So right now we're going to work on converting within the metric system, meaning a metric unit to another metric unit uh, with no differences in like length or time or anything like that. So like if we're going from length, it's from length to length, metric to metric. Okay, goals. We are going to successfully identify the units and the prefixes in the metric system. We're going to convert between units in the metric system, and there's a couple different ways to do this. I have a favorite way, and that uses the mnemonic, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Get this to right. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk milk. And so this is a really easy way for me to remember the prefixes. So I know that K means kilo. I know that H means hecto. I know that D means deca. D-E-K-A. And sometimes you'll see it with a little K there. B is the base unit. There is no prefix for that. So that would be something like liters, grams, seconds, something like that. There's no prefix. D is deci. C is centi. And M is milli. Okay, so these are the prefixes of the metric system. And when we're talking about metric system, there's a bunch of different base units that are different than ours. So in America, we use feet. In the metric system, they use meters abbreviated by the letter M. So if you see meter just by itself with nothing in front of it, so we've, we're all pretty familiar with like centimeters, this part right here, I'll put that in purple, the C is the prefix, it comes before, and that refers to this position in our little chart here of the prefixes. Okay, and then we've probably also heard of millimeters. So we know that the second part means that it is referring to the meter. This is a measurement of length. And the first part, again, is referring to the prefix on the on our little chart here. K King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Okay, so we've got meters. That's one type of base unit with a couple examples. We've also got liters. Liters are for volume. We typically measure things in like ounces or cups in America. It's liters or, um, or gallons in America, but liters of like petrol in other countries. Um, so then you can have things like milliliters or kiloliters, those types of things. Um, and then we've also got, for weight in America, we've got pounds, but in the metric system, it's grams. And those are probably the most common ones. So instead of measuring our, our weight in pounds, measure it in kilograms, where the K is the prefix for kilo, means over here it's a big number. Or we can measure things like um, amount of acetaminophen you're taking in milligrams. That's a small amount that's over here. Okay, and so the metric system is really, really great because each of these prefixes are listed in order from the biggest one to the smallest one, and the distance between each is a power of 10. So a uh, kilo is 10 times bigger than a hecto, and that's true for kilometers, kiloliters, kilograms. Those are all 10 times bigger than hectometers, hectoliters, hectograms. So each one of these is a power of 10. So really, when we're converting in the metric system, all we have to do is move the decimal. Because if you multiply by 10, it gets bigger by 10. If you divide by 10, it gets smaller by 10. So let's go ahead and we'll solve this a couple different ways. And let's get started on this question. So how many milligrams are in one kilogram? So this is the whole thing is spelled out, but that's OK, because we know that M means milli and G means gram. And we know that we're given one kilogram. And how can we relate this to each other? So for every conversion problem, you start by writing what you know, the thing that actually has a number. So we know that we have one kilogram. So that means we can start, I'm going to show you two different ways to do this, by writing King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. And we want to go to milligrams. 
So one kilogram equals how many milligrams? And we're going from left to right here. So what this means is we're going to take the decimal and move it one time, two, three, four, five, six total times before we get there. So the decimal on this one is located right here. It's invisible. So what we're going to do, I'm going to give myself some more space over here and just move that one, two, three, four, five, six times. The decimal is now here, no longer here. I'm going to fill in every little bump here with a zero. And that's how many milligrams are in a kilogram. Okay, there's another way to do this um, that's not involving KHDB DCM, and that is using a conversion factor. <clears throat> so starting with what you know, you set up a problem using a ladder like so. First rung of your ladder is what you know, when we know that we are starting with one kilogram, that's the number that we have. And then I know to go from kilograms to ba uh, a kilogram is 1,000 of the base unit, so it would be 1,000 grams. One kilogram is 1,000 grams, which is something that I know. And if you look at this, 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. And then I also know that from the base unit, the gram, to milli milligrams, there are almost have milliliters there, but to milligrams, that'd be another 1,000. So that I know that one gram is 1,000 milligrams. Because I don't necessarily know kilograms to milligrams off the top of my head. This is how I do it. And if we multiply this all out together, we get to end up with the exact same answer. It's going to be a 1 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros after it. So I'm just going to abbreviate that in scientific notation, 1 times 10 to the 6th milligrams, which is the same as we got with the other method. So those are two methods you can use. Okay, so let's practice this one more time with another base unit called the liter. So go ahead, pause your video, work out this problem, and then come back. Okay, welcome back. Question is how many liters are in 150 milliliters? So we know that we're starting. Um, we can start with KHD BDCM because it's my favorite. And we're starting with 150 milliliters. And we know we have to go this way to get to liters. Liters being the base unit, it has no prefix. That's how you can tell it goes right here because the B does not have a prefix. That's the base unit. So we're moving the decimal from the right to the left. Okay. So how many spaces do we need to move it? We need to move it one two, three spaces. So starting with that 150 milliliters, the decimal will be right here because it's invisible. We'll move it one, two, three. 0 0.150 liters is the answer there. And if you want to solve it using the conversion factor way, which you don't have to if you don't want to, set up your ladder with what you know. And I know that the milli is 1,000 times smaller than the base, so I know that there are 1,000 milliliters in one liter. So we're going to have to make this number smaller by 1,000, and when you calculate that out, you end up with 0 0.150 liters with the units canceling top and bottom. So you can see it doesn't matter if you could do it conversion factor way or mnemonic way, you get the same answer every single time. Thank you for listening.